Hi guys, I hope you're ready for some blockchain action, because in this video I'm going to show you a brand new application from the Golem Factory, Enters Torg, an app designed to mine cryptocurrencies in a fun and easy way. It is built on top of the Golem network and was brought to life by a team with a proven track record and experience in decentralized systems and blockchain solutions. Alright, I hope you're ready to see it in action. To start your adventure with Torg, just go to torg.io and press the download button. As simple as that. Once it is downloaded, open the installer and with a few clicks Torg will be running on your PC. After reading licenses and terms of use, you can decide if you want to share additional information with the Golem team. Those are logs from crashes and diagnostic data that will help developers code a better app for you. Then you can select the installation folder and proceed further. After a successful installation, you can choose to run Torg to go through the onboarding process and set up the application the way you like. This is what you're going to see after a successful installation. At first, the app will ask you if you're experienced with blockchain or are you just a beginner and could use more help. Let's assume we are beginners and check how easy it is to start mining with Torg. First, we need to create a wallet for our cryptocurrency tokens. All crypto holdings you might have live on the blockchain and technically are not stored in your wallet. Wallet, however, contains a secret key that enables you to access your tokens stored in the blockchain. Torg will create one for you, so you can immediately start receiving tokens. There is one more thing before we can continue. Please prepare pen and paper or make sure you have access to a secure printer. I will explain in a bit later why those are so important. If for any reason you will lose a wallet containing your secret key, for example your computer will fail or you delete it by mistake, you would like to have some way of restoring access to your tokens. These 12 words can help you recreate your wallet if you will lose access to it. Every wallet has a different seed phrase associated with it, and I must stress that it is really important to not share those words with other people, since anyone who has access to them can recreate your wallet and transfer funds from your account. 12 words you see on my screen were prepared specially for this video and are just an example. When you run the app yourself, you will see completely random words associated with a wallet that was generated for you. Key points to take away from this are Print or write down those words and store in a secure location. Don't share them with anyone who you don't completely trust. There are two reasons why we're asking you to print them. First, you don't want them stored on your computer as a screenshot or in plain text, since your computer might get hacked and an attacker would gain access to your account. Second, in case your computer crashes or gets stolen, it is vital that you have your seed phrase secured in a safe place. Alright, let's get down to business and print those words. After the print is complete, it should look something like that. Just remember to keep your wallet recovery words in a safe place and don't share it with anyone else. After you store your seed phrase somewhere safe, you will be asked to name your node. This is how other Golem users will see your resources in the network. Your node name will be automatically generated, however you might want to change it according to your taste. I got a wonderful dog last year, and since his name is Indy, I will go with Indy the miner. If you're not feeling too creative at the moment, you can always leave an auto-generated name and change it later in the settings. Once you're happy with your node name, it is time to perform a benchmark that will test your GPU and give an estimate on possible profits. I'm running this demo from a notebook that was not designed as a mining rig, so my hash rate and therefore estimated profits are not too high. However, all of you with modern graphic cards should see much better results. Clicking on next button will take you to Torx dashboard. However, before we explore it more, I would like to show you how the onboarding process looks for users that already have their Ethereum address and would like to use it for mining. So we go back to the main screen and we select an expert mode. Now we proceed with our own wallet. First, we need to provide our Ethereum address. 
it is crucial that we paste here an address over which we have total control. I would not recommend pasting here an exchange address since Torg is using layer 2 for transfers and most exchanges support only layer 1. For those of you who do not know what is layer 1 or layer 2, we have prepared an explanation in our FAQ section on Torg's website. To summarize, layer 1 is native to Ethereum and at the moment transfer fees are really high in this network. That is why software developers created layer 2 solutions which are aiming at decreasing time and costs of transferring crypto tokens between interested parties. Bottom line is, because of using layer 2, less tokens go towards paying fees and more towards Torx's users. App will ask us to confirm our Ethereum address and after we're sure we want to use it, we can name our node and proceed to benchmark. Benchmark is showing estimated profits in US dollars However, it is worth noting that all transfers will be made in GLMs, which are native tokens to the Golem network. Once our benchmark is finished, we can start exploring application. One quick remark is that running benchmark multiple times might give you different results since your hash rate depends on the computer load. The more tasks you're doing in the background, the less hash rate your computer will be able to generate. Once you enter the dashboard, you can see all of the essential information about your mining activity. Going from the left, you can see how many GLMs you have in your wallet and how big transfers you should expect for your mining operations. Next, you can see estimations of your monthly profits, as well as the status of your GPU and CPU. CPU tasks are disabled in the current release, however stay tuned to Torx communication channels since mining with your CPU should be available later this year. After a quick setup that we've already covered, we can begin our mining operations. Just click a start mining button and the torque should start working in no time. You can see that app status changed to ready to mine, which means the application is waiting for the network to request mining tasks on your GPU. In the GPU section, you can see how many graphic cards are available in your system and what is your current hash rate. If you would like to perform some GPU intensive tasks other than mining, you can always go to settings and change intensity of mining operations. Setting it to low will lower your hash rate, but also should give you enough power to use your computer for heavy work or even play a game at the same time. For best mining performance, set your mining mode to maximum. If you have a multiple GPUs configuration, you will be able to change each graphic card settings independently here as well. If your hardware configuration will change, you should run the benchmark again so the miner can use it properly. Change your mind about the name you would like for your resources. You can change it here in a few seconds as long as you will use alphanumeric characters, space, dash or underline. In the bottom, you can see the current version of your Torg and clicking on it will inform if there is an update you might want to download. There is also a section with advanced settings where you can change things such as notifications visibility, sending diagnostic data or whether you want to hide to tray or close application on exit. If you'd like to change your wallet address, you can do it in a wallet section. There is also an option to withdraw tokens. This is all I got for you today. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to experiment with the settings and change mining intensity according to your needs. Happy mining to all of you.